I've just woken up. One of the most frustrating things about being a supply teacher and therefore on call is for somebody like me trying to maintain a sleep schedule. This means that I had I did not stay up to watch the live letter. In fact, I think the live letter is still actually ongoing. I have not watched it, and therefore this is an out of context Endwalker job actions trailer, which is you can't quite see that. 18 minutes long. What? Have they reworked everything or something? I am going to go back. Once the, the live letter finishes, I am going to go and watch the whole thing. And I may, be, may even do a reaction to it. Um, but this is the video that they have... That they have put out. Let's stick my headphones on for this. Probably end up deafening myself in the process. Ah, uh, let's see. Ooh. Square I suppose they've got Sage and Reaper to add to this, haven't they? And... Let me break three. Job actions. Starting with Dragoon. Jump. Thingy dive. Oh, it's, it's going to show pretty much all of them, isn't it? I don't think those are new. No. That's the AoE. That was for optimized, wasn't it? I've actually leveled Dragoon to 80. Do I recognize the animations? Nope. That, mm. Yes. Yes. That's new, isn't it? Can I? Warrior! Uh, infuriate gap closer smack steel cyclone punch punch what was that that looked like a protective move that again you're probably going to see me really confused for a lot of this because I don't main, I, d I don't play most of these jobs. I have got Warrior at 80. I haven't touched it since I got 80. That's cool looking though. Red Mage. Okay, Red Mage I know a bit more about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's the AoE combo. Well, combo. Ooh. A giant bubble. That could be something that we've already got that I've never noticed in the context of an actual fight. But I think that's new. Also, we've got three pips at the bottom of the gauge. Which... Scholar. Scholar, I know. Okay. Yeah. That was deployment tactics. Yeah. Broil. Right, that's uh that's art of war. Oh, was that it? D did we even get anything new there? I think we did. Dark knights. I should know dark knights. Yeah, amend plunging. 
salts salted sanctuary salted earth power strike uh cypher strike soul eater a bubble thing uh darkest nights darkest night darkest night uh summon fray un unmend not unmend unleash yeah carbon spits I, I think it looks like we're getting maybe one new thing but I know dancers are getting a blue dance because they showed that in the benchmark trailer. There it is. Don't know what it does. Realistic. Realistically, I'd need somebody to talk me through these. Dancer, I've got an 80 as well. I feel like I don't hear these sound effects very often because I play with game volume turned down a lot of the time. Nice little bit of percussion in there. I, I am actually leveling machinists. Bioblaster. Flame, flame thrower. Shotgun. We saw that in the job actions trailer. Red shot was that? I can't remember what that's called. I haven't got it yet. I'm only 65. What was that? Giant buzzsaw thing. Calling in the queen. I've always liked the look of Machinist, but depending on which version of it... Yeah, which expansion you're in. I've sometimes found it a bit clunky to play. Gunbreaker. Pistol Sabre. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. Three cartridge charges? We always had three? Oh, we had two. Yeah, I can't remember what that's called where you buff your mates. I never do it, though. That's our AOE. I do like the kind of feeling of weight on a lot of gunbreaker abilities. Yeah, I, I need to know these. I'm not the best person to react to this. Bard. Also level 65. I'm leveling Bard and Machinist up at the same time because they use the same gear. Is it just me? Or does the text on the Wondrous Minuet seem a little bit... Mind you, this is a 1080p video. That I'm watching full screen on a 4K monitor. Oh, there are little icons next to it, though. Pink, orange, and green. That's new. And, and they've just used them all. Astrologian. Right, this is going to be interesting because obviously Astro has been redone. Because they're turning it into a pure healer. I can't imagine they'll change the animations too much. They've kept the card system. Yay. Yeah, without the context of... That was cool looking. Ooh! That's a new buff as well. Um, without the context of what these spells are and what they do. 
that seems to pop over time. Samurai. Slice. I don't have Samurai's 80 yet. I don't think. It's in the 70s. I was trying to get everything up to 70 by Endwalker. <laughs> Other things have got in the way. Like life. And fun. For example, Monk. <laughs> Sorry, Monk. Still down at 61, 62. Ooh. Bzzzt. That looks like some self buffs. Again, I don't have Samurai high enough to say whether this is something that we've already got or not. White Mage. Play quite a lot of White Mage. Right, so they, they've got this water bubble thing. Looks like they've got two watery spells, though. Glare. Yeah. Ooh. That seems to have a very short cooldown as well. What's the... Is it like a totem? Interesting. It's got some kind of AOE interaction. Ninja. Ha. I really like Ninja, but I'm not good enough to play Ninja. Because I cannot... I, I would need to... To main Ninja in order to be... In order to be able to remember the Mudra order, frankly. It's a really cool looking job. And it's really fun to play, but... I play it so rarely. I do love that shadowy effect that they get. Rayton. Rayton. Ooh, that's new, I think. Blum. Lay lines. Blizzard 4. Both. Three, four, five, three, five, four, triple cast. That's new, I think. We've got an extra little kind of spiky bit on the gauge. They are really making that gauge work. That was freeze, wasn't it? Yeah, what is that? It's like t both elements. Those are the ice hearts that give us faster fire. And what is that? I like the I like the kind of mushroomy fire effect. Well, <gasps> sage time. Okay, single target cure. Buff. Instant heal. Don't know what that was. DPS. Debuff. Or dot. AOE. Uh... You can't see the job gauge. Hold on. They've put it where I am. So we've got three pips, a little bit like Scholar. We've got a spinny thing, which I'm assuming is the configuration of our new lifts got some purpley things underneath that we seem to be building up and a gauge is that building up over time or is it building up 
It, it looks like an ATB, actually. And that was used on an offensive ability. That's a cool... Oh! Is that a gap closer? Nice AoE DPS. Huh. We'll be back in the in the same corner. Monk. Ha <laughs> ha. I really like Monk's UI elements. They've got different color. I, I I don't know enough about Monk. Maybe they'll have reworked it to make it a little bit more... I don't know. I, I think it's... I just don't get it. I don't play it often enough. When I do play it, it feels very kind of fluid. Summoner. Now, aren't we supposed to be getting a Summoner rework? Yes, we are. Oh, and again. Hold on, let me shrink myself down. So we can see the gauge. So we've still got the um, ether flow gauge, but we've got a very different gauge over here now. Right, the hammocks, which has locked out the other three elements. Are we going to be able to summon proper versions of the others right they've all gone glowy now carbuncle proper garuda carbuncle's back but carbuncle now we've been imbued with garuda for X number of spells by the look of it. Now, only Titan and... Oh, ooh. Okay, so he's going to show up and do his ultimate. And then we can keep on using Titan themed spells. Until the number ticks down, I assume. This is a complete rework. Also, where's Phoenix? Oh no, Phoenix is ready, I think. Now I'm wondering... Oh, a, a gap closer. Oh, so you go all melee. Interesting. I'm wondering whether the different summons are going to have... Just before we do a reaper. Um, I wonder if the different summons are going to have situational uses or is it just going to be a super complicated rotation? Not that summoner mains aren't used to having a super complicated rotation. I... The only time I've played Summoner is when I've just done the, the job quests. That That's it. Because obviously I level Scholar. Uh, it's it's pretty much always the second job that I level. Um, although that may change with Sage, depending on you know when they put out the website with actual, all the actual abilities on um, the, and the play guide, like they usually do. In fact, they don't they usually do it not too long after they release the job actions trailer? So it may even be out. Reaper! I'm a bit scared about Reaper. Uh, because I think it looks really cool. But also, um, if it's super complicated and has loads of positionals, I'll, I, I will find it actually quite dull to play. No matter how cool it looks. Right, we're building up 
two gauges by the look of it. Yeah. Interesting. That buffed our ally. So that looks like some kind of steel ability. And I assume this second gauge is for our reaper form. That's our back dash. And we can go back to it. Right. We get five pips. And they turn pink. This looks quite cool to play. Why do Dark Knights not get these cool looking abilities? And the uh, the poster boy for the expansion? What the hell is that? Gap closer. Fast blade. Right blade. Whichever one that is. Yeah. Splats. Yeah, okay. This is the, the magic rotation. That's the AoE. Curtain confetti. Swords. Big swords. Huge swords. Swords, big swords, and huge swords. Those are what I will be calling the abilities. Available November the th 19th. Um, so yeah, I, 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 as, as I speculated right at the start of the video, I'm the worst person in the world to, to talk about job abilities because I do stick to my small pool of jobs. And whilst I do very much play... Well, I level many jobs, and I'm still working on leveling many jobs because th there are just some that I don't really enjoy. Although, to be fair, I said that about Dragoon. I wasn't a huge fan of Dragoon, and actually, I then leveled it from 60 to 80 in about a week um, because I actually found it quite fun the higher, ability, uh, the higher I got, especially once you started to be able to kind of chain things together when you were in certain stances. Um, Reaper looks really cool. Sage looks really cool. Scholar got something, but again, I, I feel like it would be much cooler if they put the name of the abilities up on the screen when they were doing this. You know, flying away from the the character as as things are done, because. As it is, it's just, well, no, I suppose it does what it's supposed to do. As in, for people that play X job, they know their abilities really well. But th to be fair, you know, I should know Dark Knight really well. But there wasn't anything huge in there that, uh, where, where is Dark Knight? Let's, can we get back to it? Oh, YouTube's doing its thing. Nice. It's loaded it into 480p. Just what I wanted. Right. So, grit. Plunging attack. Right. What? Th that was the only thing that I could see. This. What was that there? Is that the buff for blood weapon? That might just be the, the, the kind of fist clutchy something. That salted earth. Hard slash. Thingy strike. Siphon strike. Uh, soul eater. That was the new one. Don't know what that was. It, I'm assuming it was new as opposed to just uh, an animation change for a buff. I think that was new. I don't remember that animation at all. Um. Oops. 
That's the new thing. Is that Dark Mind? And this is putting Blackest Knight on an ally. Yeah, that's drawing out Frey. I can never remember the name of that ability. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing new here. Syncing up our abilities. Flood or Edge of Shadow. I can never remember. Yeah, he, he, he seems to be doing something with it with his with his hand. That'll be interesting to see what what that is. Synced up carve and spit at the end because they do love doing that. So there we go. The Endwalker job actions trailer. Everybody got something new. I think Reaper and Sage were obviously the big draw, but I was super I'm super intrigued by the summoner changes. Because I've always loved the idea of a summoner, but having a, a two plus minute opening rotation is like no. No. I that is that is unnecessarily complicated. Does it look like they've simplified it? I'm not really sure. It's difficult to tell from a trailer like this. I'm. Sh it's possible that the, the three different gems for the, the different summons may well be situational rather than, ah, and you're going to work your way through them in order. But it's definitely different. And uh, people have been asking for... A summoner rework for a long time so it's here you get your full-size summons rather than little. in fact did they have eggies at all no they just had carbon out didn't they so that's a definite change but yeah i i think i'd really like to be able to see the names of the abilities um it's possible that at some point somebody will take a copy of this trailer and edit it with the actual tooltips from the play guide so that you can see what's going on. That would be a cool uh, thing to do. But obviously, they can't do that for this. Square Enix can't do that for this because the numbers and stuff won't be final and they're very, very particular about things that are in development. I'm hoping that the rest of the live letter will now have uh, will have finished because uh, it's been going on since I think 3 a.m. or something like that. So a good, I mean, it's quarter past nine now in the morning. So it's been going on a good while. And I can see out the corner of my eye that they are still tweeting. Uh, in fact, there's four four notifications since I started recording um, about them tweeting stuff. So I'm hoping that's the end of live letter. Let's just have the rest of the information. And that I can now go and watch the actual live letter itself. Though if it's six hours long, that's, that's an investment, which realistically I don't have the time for today. So I might have to skip through things. We'll see how it goes. But I hope you have enjoyed my fairly pitiful to be honest reaction to the job actions trailer because as i said i don't know the jobs well enough i don't play I, I, as i've said in previous videos i am not a die hard, hard log into ff14 every day person though i did uh, get the survey from square enix uh, the other day saying you are one of the lungs uh, lungs as a long subscribing member um, of the community We'd like some feedback. It's like, yeah, I, I am. I have, I've literally got the maximum amount of subscribed time because I've literally never dropped my subscription. Uh, the only time I've not been subscribed to FF14 was during 1.0 when they didn't require a subscription. That's the only time. So I don't think you can get much more subscribe than that 
It was a good survey, actually. Very interesting. No, nothing like outlandish. Uh, what? How would you feel if we introduced these controversial ideas? Um. But yeah, you know, detailed and thorough. You know, what do you like about the game? That kind of stuff. And obviously, boxes to type in. Type some stuff. Job actions. Trailer watched. Hopefully, I can go and get some context on things now. I'm really hoping actually they do a or have done a a playthrough of some of the changes to jobs. Maybe a Reaper and Sage showcase when Rashida actually talks us through things. That would be nice. I think they did that for the last jobs, didn't they? I'm gonna go and take a look. Until the next video, folks. Thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel. If you did like the video, hit the old thumbs up button. You might even consider subscribing if you're feeling particularly risque. I'll catch you all in the next one. Doodles! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio!